Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Montgomery and it is 2024. I tell you what, if you're like me, this is a challenging time of year because, you know, it's kind of like we've just come off the holidays, all of the eating, all of the chilling out and, you know, it's the end of the year and I stayed pretty busy throughout December and that was great. That was really good for me because it kind of kept my wheels grind, you know, kept everything going. But man, you know, now it's like the beginning of January and I'm kind of like, man, I still feel like chilling. But I know I have a full year ahead of me. I'm getting wound back up. And so I'm looking at setting my goals and doing all that stuff for the year. And I just want to share a strategy that I use that has worked very well to get kind of get me going and making sure that I accomplish a lot. Now, I'm not one of these guys that I feel like, I personally don't feel like I do a whole lot. I see some real heavy hitters out there and it's really easy to kind of see what everybody else is doing and then compare yourself to them and think, man, how can I do that? But then I notice that other people, you know, they comment about some of the stuff that me and Tamika that we've done in, in our lives. And we don't think that it's a lot, but then people are saying, wow, that you guys have done this, you've done that, you've done this. Well, it starts with writing down your goals. So this is that time of year where actually we do this like four times a year, uh, or at least I do with my business and all the things that I'm trying to accomplish. So I have this book here called The 12 Week Year, and I've read this, you know, several years ago. I thought it was a really great concept. The idea is taking everything that you want to accomplish in one year, you kind of write it down, okay? Your big goals, not necessarily all the steps, but all the big goals. So for example, last year, I had a certain number of properties that I wanted to purchase, that we wanted to buy. We wanted to buy short-term rentals, we wanted to buy some investment property, we wanted to do this. I wanted to build my email list for all of my agents so that when I'm talking to agents and staying in contact with folks, that way I can you know, grow my list. So I had some numbers and some goals and some objectives. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Write down what is it that you want to accomplish that you wanna get done this year, okay? Now, some of these things, you'll be restricted by time. It's just physically impossible to actually do. But that's okay, just write it down. If you're thinking you wanna buy 10 houses, then write down 10 houses. For myself, I, I decided I wanna buy six houses this year, okay? Now that's a pretty big goal, but I think it's possible. It's big, but it's possible. But what's interesting is last year, I accomplished so many things that actually make this year, make this goal possible. So I wanna buy six houses, single family homes, I wanna rent them out to traveling nurses and traveling medical professionals, yada, yada, yada. What I did last year, I thought that I might be able to achieve something like that, but I learned that there are some limitations. But it's cool because a lot of things that I overcame last year have set me up so that I can do this this year. And honestly, it's crazy because it's quite possible I could do more than that. I also want to buy one storage facility. So I wanna get our first storage facility in 2024, and I'm writing all this down. And then I wanna grow my email list with of agents, real estate agents and real estate professionals in the DC market, in the DC DMV, <laughs> DC, Maryland, Virginia. Sometimes I can't talk, but I wanna grow that list by 500 people. I know there are some marketers out there, they're like, man, that's easy. All you gotta do is just do Facebook ads and this and that, blah, 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 blah. But my approach is actually gonna be a little bit more organic because I wanna make sure that I'm touching these people because the idea is that they will refer business to me. With real estate appraising, I'm not trying to do mass marketing necessarily. There's some philosophy behind my thinking, but Growing my list to 500 people actually, I mean, I can do a significant amount of business off of that one list. It doesn't have to be tens of thousands. That's the reason for that. So it's, it allows me to work organically in that fashion. And I have a strategy for, for accomplishing that. Now, those are the things that I want to do in 2024. So what most people do is that they will, they will say, this is what I want to accomplish and they write it down and then they sit it in a corner or write it down in a book 
or do something like that where it's kind of out of mind. And the problem is that then all of a sudden it's June or July and this list is still sitting there. These goals are still sitting there, but there are no action steps that have been taken. So we look at this and we say, all right, this is what we want to accomplish in 2024. Then we decide, I decide, what am I going to do to accomplish these goals, okay? For example, if I want to buy one storage facility, I envision that what I'm going to need to do is build relationships with brokers who invest in that type of asset product, right? That asset class. So I'm going to write down how many agents or brokers do I need to work with, okay? 500 people, what are my steps in order to add, grow my list by 500 people? I know that I'm gonna be sending out a certain number of introductory emails and a certain number of phone calls, okay? So I'm gonna write all of that down. Then if I wanna buy six houses, what do I need to do to get those six houses? Here's where it gets kinda of cool. When you take down all of these steps, all of these things, now we decide that we're gonna take all of these action steps and get them done in 12 weeks. That's where you move the needle. So you don't start with one year. You say, all right, I wanna get all of this done in 12 weeks. Now, when you're looking at something that needs to be done in 12 weeks, all of a sudden there's kind of a little bit more motivation because that time frame is coming up real quick. Now me buying six houses in 12 weeks, is it possible? More than likely, based off of my finances and everything that I have now, it's not likely, but I'm sure gonna shoot for it. What that's gonna do is gonna prepare me for the next 12 weeks, okay? Can I get that one storage facility? I don't know, but what's interesting is, as I was studying at the latter part of last year, I thought that that was probably like a two to three year goal, but I realized that it's quite possible that I could get this in 2024. And the scary part about this is, it is very possible that I can actually get this in the first 12 weeks, okay? So I wrote it down, instead of saying I wanna do it by the end of 2024, it's very possible I can actually be on track to buy one within the first 12 weeks. I looked at my finances and looked at, you know, how you, how you structure these deals. It's like, oh wow, this is actually possible. And then the 500, adding 500 people to my email list, that is very possible. Because then I can put myself in a pattern where I'm saying, all right, every day I'm gonna reach out to X number of agents, I'm gonna do an introduction, I'm gonna send this email, I'm gonna do that and break it down to daily steps based on a five day week and I can get to 500 people within 12 weeks. So then I have moved the needle quite a bit. Now, the cool thing is, at the end of 12 weeks, you look at what was accomplished and you'll see what you did not accomplish and just reset your goals. You say, all right, uh, based on what I did, this is what we purchased, this is what I bought, these are the goals that we met and these were our shortcomings. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You set it up for another 12 weeks and all of a sudden, basically you're looking at each quarter, you have a new set of goals and it really moves the needle and that's how you get a lot accomplished. So again, I just wanna encourage you, check out this book, it's called 12 Week Year. You can find it on Amazon, it's real easy, but it's a great strategy to really get a lot done in 12 weeks. You'll get like their little subtitle says, get more done in 12 weeks than more than others do in 12 months. And I have found that this is a very effective strategy so I hope it encourages you. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, that way you'll know when the next video is coming out. But I definitely love sharing you know, my experience as a real estate appraiser and an investor, and I'm gonna to continue to share that, my journey with you. So make sure you stay tuned, I'll talk to you later. Have a great 2024.